Parce que tu as dit 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 que ko <laughs> Alhamdulillah <laughs> Right now, ni ajibe, iba yela ame electrician for agriculture, Ministry of Agriculture, uh, LRR sector, I am the regional electrician. So, okam ma yati nako, kontanta bake, kuru alay hadi yenga interview of ang soro, kurango mong nyong soro, kurango mong nyong soro, kurango nyong ameta bake yini la, kabring president jawara jamano, senor, senegal. Ya, atra nyawo nya, ala manyiko benino. Diyo kono, for Jawara, 32 years, or Bonay, Yamenara, 22 years, Nikura Matarono. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alamina, Alhamdulillah, Alachen to follow, Yeni Benda Maya Adonko Tentula was first to fall, Termini Bankola, Regional Youth Development Association, and Termula Regional Advisor. Follow again, Naraka, a village at the Blekia Mandivana for NPP party. So, to continue at Tinako, NPP Patio, B, Wolle Nyatonko, Wolle Nyim Program, or C, Nyim Banko, okay, then take continue, but because Munekera, Dele Nyatonko, Sanye, Sabakonore, Sanji Bulakono, Ayakada, Awulta Loda Singola, Ayakada, Ayako Nyim Kramonyim, Aisoro Gambia Konoja, Awulta, Alamiro, and Alakilo Laje, for Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alamin, Bimbeo de Motoyan, Elarar Kono, Jaraves Kono, Yara Soma Kono, and on Vigi, but on a great legend be, okay, and take a lot of back. So, the Gambianco, Betten Tula, the Banco will be ten to the co, co, Alinga, Kata, Alinga, Kata, Mayor Sula, Eka Sula, Alinga Kata Bage, Nayako, the President of Membina, Nakata, for Jamana Kodom Membina, Satu Kambino, Asakata, a singing Kujama, Yong Sivasian to Leo, was in Kerevenu Tower de Gunia Kono, into Gambia Ivana. Media, Alhamdulillah, Balkan to Lombal content, content Alla Kola, Nadia and Yami, Kanakan support young Rukaloni B, Kajako, Nipogramo, I Taman on Yang, I find the Dunia, Ogotuna Media, Oton Savalego, Alla Barca, Ella Alcon Yang, Bal welcome the young. Thank you very much. Barisak Aliko, President Adam Baro, Sanolem, Sanolem, Lululem, Diamond Olem. Gambia man in Besor, but I tell you, be a king to Lomajan. I shall not see it. I die monosin. I nice and so I do best packing co. We have a group oil. We have in Gambia. That is six well in Gambia. Me allowed Dalaman so in Dema. Another five years, Adam Baralava will be a chance of Ula Gambia Colonial. He shall love me Alasson and Bojel. Abejang, Abe Laring, Abe Mabori, Kurama Mabor and Yami, Sangi Talu, and the one of the Findu, Janis Sangi Tata, and the one of the Santo of the Fidel Bagokan. Abejan Nava will. Nesika Gambian, Kino Jamaso, Allah Barka Media, Allah Barka Media. Thank you very much.
mitumbani ngol hanim bi rek a ko alia ji nyaming a mol bi na kan ne a kaddu nam a baye ko no wala dulami yalon ko a power station of pomobe janne andung a nalon ne ko a na president sabol be min yalon ko wala nyanta kana ka nyin a evento nyin grace ay be silo kan nan ne folo bari meje nan folo a bari alia jala a mol be a silo kay bi na ka musu ka fukke ay be be dum kan a sai sai de katera si rango ni la position holta a na di ko fana a jaran ko be ma min yalon ko am If you don't know me, can you even to any grace that you go? Um, charity begins at home, so it only follow be a fifty karna. A kaje ko a beni even to grace dale. A ko ali amu nyami, um di amu ali afu nyami. Ani ni o M B J la a history jibe. I come in jawala ati wala nyinti ko. A sauda sauda da karabaja mi mugamia ra first president. I gamia mara for a thirty something years. A ani le report sa sango le ying um. Relationship ni follow kuma se a itata la for am tu ba abu ba ngol kan kaje ko aye nyin a project ko nyin samanan a former president min keta am ya ya jame ta fona ya a kata ku da ngol kala ba hani wo amatano amantano a bari na under the leadership of his excellency adam baro a na jela ko a finally a omvg project ko nyin a a fere a gambia jang andum a banku nani wala ya lon ko to le bulo bula nyo ko kaje ko nyin omvg project ko nyin a a futata a gambia banko kay a bari na senegal a jela a bin bisaw ani gina konaka ni gambia fo and in no time maje ko maje la ko his excellency makisala ani uh, his excellency um uh, umaru siso umbalo mimi gina fana president noti be dun nanan na ka ni uh, event o ni grace ja so alna ta na ji be be ke Mari ngora kani mji alia yele akamtu ko a CDS la motole belori wanyama afana be a bengo kona jambi la alia ajala atelebina kanga kaji a kafana aya saja ya palasota a bari na lo nyoko afana mi moeti mi ako moku maya ribare a na ata na gambia security la karola afana mi moeti mi alonko a be a bengo chobi jambi a alia atelehi na a belori jang a be Uh, Covid-19 protocol so ke kan ne am um, are sa i hand sanitizer ma a be a dum kan na sai sai de aning a police so la nya ton ko aning a minister of interior aning a police so la nya ton ko itol fana be bi janne bi aning a immigration ol fana la nya ton ko a ke so la jete ngay be dum kan na nyen temben na a be ngokono Itungal bole je kamba de ngol hanim bi rek a bi na ko bena a gam o mvg project ko ni launch la bi gambia a jan ka je ko for the first time in the history of gambia such um a project so doka mi yalon ko it worth millions and millions of um kodo a ka je ko a yim fita da bari ni ko kuran ko a ko yata bake le gambia banko ka jang a moti ye covering a provincial area lo fo a kombole wo mol be ko to complain la ko a kurango la soto balia a asiata sa bake na jela ko a advisor a the security advisor to the president a mu mo de bajiti a ta fana a futa ta sign sign a fana fele abita kan katala si rangota a ñi na be jambi a mol be dum kan nan ne ay be ko be na def protocol so ta kan ne a mol ye la mak so du ne ay be tammi ka a ñi semben na Well, uh, wonderful viewers out there. Um, you're watching Garment Talent TV, and we are um, uh, he, we are in Soma, and uh, we just uh, seeing the arrival of um, His Excellency the Vice President uh, Isa Tutuye, um, who's also here to grace the occasion. Um, with the president as uh, you all know uh wherever you see the president uh you must see the vice president and uh, today is another important um, um history as we are about to see the inauguration of the um, uh, OMPG uh, project here in uh, Soma. Madam Oko na po nyame rek signing His Excellency Madam Vice President Aisit Ture Afutata Jambi Soma LRA 
uh, Biden, I don't know, uh, this is an important um, event, and uh, that tula no coma, and that the legislation saying after that man ayala sirangota, ni kona funya mi ni president oje dawada, voice of vice president oje je, ni kito kule timi yalo kuwelbe kirinja, ko moli a funya mi ali a funya mi OMVG projecto, ni kuma seta la covering the former president mi musaro la kerabaja wara tumoti. Uh, and then, um, uh, President Mia Katel and uh, Senega Mumuli Segorti, uh, but in a uh, Cabri signing K, a uh, Yadiamul K, uh, initially uh, Montano, uh, because Montano, but Cabra Mesa, uh, Nayeloko, um, uh, the former President Mumijameta, a uh, trial, and uh, finally Nayoko under the leadership of, um, uh, his Excellency Adam Abaro, I am a Katakul Kele, and I am a counterpart when I am a president of Senegal and also President Omaru Sisoho of Guinea. I am a Katakul Dawakel Kayoko, the OMVG project, a sub Saharan region. Yeah, a power station in Soto Bari Naloko. Nico energy is important. Motitano Kurango Koma, Motitano Geo Koma. Ani kuto kuti mi ako wale bijami ala. Yaro somante twenty twenty one. So forty years later, the Dauda is history like the more they legend. And we appreciate and celebrate their legacy in Senegambia and the West Africa. I have some brief profiles of today's guests. Including their host, President Adam Bamba. We begin with President Makisa. His Excellency Makisa was born on December 11, 1961, in Pati, Republic of Senegal. He studied theoretical engineering and geophysics at the Institute of Art and Science in Dakar, IIT, at the National School of Engineering. And he is here at the CM of the Federal Institute of Paris, Paris in the year. He is a member, Paris Matisan, is a member of various domestic and international associations of geologists and geophysicists. His political career began in 2000, and of 2004, President Saar has served as his executive officer of the Secretary of the Oil Company, Petrosen. He was Minister of Mines, Minister of Energy, Hydraulics. He was Minister of State and Minister of Mines again. Energy, Hydraulics, Minister of State, Interior and Local Collectivities. He was Prime Minister for three years, from 2000 to 2007. From 2007 to 2008, President of the Senegal Institute of Seven. But the time he was in the University and now as Mayor, from 2009 to 2012, in March of 2021, the election was elected for the president of the Republic of Senegal and the Equal Office for 12 April 2012. He was the elected to the presidency of Senegal in February 2019 and he remained president today. His family was in May to May of Faisal and he placed with two sons and a daughter. That is the biography of our. Yes, the Excellency Omar Maro, Mr. Omar, of Indonesia, was born on the 3rd of September 1973. He was educated at the International University, he studied international relations at the High Institute of Technical and Social Sciences of the University of the Technical University of Lisbon. He also has a master's degree in political science and a doctorate in international relations. And the Commonwealth of the Mass of Manu say his political career. Before he engaged in active politics, President Barrow sat in the Indian Italian Army. I have an announcement. His Excellency President Barrow is always around. So those who wish to go and welcome him are asked to leave. Around here and doing what is happening from here. Thank you. I'm going to be focused on our 
ignore_time_segment_in_scoring
Warawula, Mafana, Yabrijol Juba Mel Doku, Yelaptano Juba Mel Doku, Yena Jube Hadamadun La Jada Kendiato, Anusanola Bunda Fananto, Cabrin Sano Kumas and Anusan Tema, Yajele Sawosang, Tiadania Akalafale, Dokula Melia Lonko Kunun Yether Sitting, Melia Lonko Nalfa Doleka Penson Ta, Otomela Penson Fanang, Buka Fefen in the Sea, Febuka Mani Boto Sano. B. I own the pension for the Lafa, hundred per cent. Salary to your Melfon of Kumbo, a cold da coliata. Another quarter, I fifty per cent are men and a monster of Gambela Tarukono. Kaufan and Lafa Wolier, Wodo Adama Baro, a Kanada Majoleke. Me alone come more than a maje. A Kawoleke, Molma Mirabe Menola, a Kawoleno. Honorable Molia for the Fanako, a Niaja in Project Okera, I a la counterpart of my member, Honorable Makisate, and then Honor His Excellency Umar Sisa Hombalo from Guinea, a Puru Isajoko as a political scorer to the election of win. Is that reaction? A Yalong, Wolbemu, Gaul, Mulia Lonko, Ebela Kanja Kumafola, Wolkono, because I'm a Republic of Guinea Bissau, Wabelorin. Republic of Senegal Belorine, Republic of the Gambia Belorine, and when you do call back Tamakan, I've been in do call for a back can. Yajele, so Nidolia Mira La Cafoco, but it will find Yanta expert La Cafoco. A present baro Cabrana to Tom and I call me bedside. I call me bedside. Fire die little for Dolia Pare. That does in Minsco, five years new for Nambe, a man, election on him for number five years Lecono. And I promise the Janning election cutting, Benyakela. So then, Mobuka can no opposition or dollar. Ninin teda, Konin teda, Ninin beda, Konako, a Benkina. So, being important to remain at a Gamba Dunia York. Janibita, Nanako, a Sambi, a president on Yimbefutalana. What is going to be your final words to Gambians out there? By the Naloniko political, a son in Timola, a assembly to a garata bakel. A Kafo Gambian no cone, a Yeta, Yeta, election or to Kairakon and Nafinti Yakarakon. What's going to be your advice to the general? On that side, now advise moment to you. Well, I'm not for Gambian all. It is all the neighbor for the follow election. I'm not for the Gambian call the Cairo in Taya maintain. B. I'm just born on a kind of code or a key by the man. Be it a born on a musk on a multi born all. Do for now. Now we'll consider an Indian don. Fifth and remember then the fitness call and a jam for a bank. Walk on a monkey friend to me bank on in Nafa. So election on your moment is a lot of diamond to let's see. Bula no can you yell a cartel de la Tarako Emmanuel Nen Emmanuel Bannon. I'm a Nafa Soto. Need you in city by Sula de Mena. Tighter cartel fire. Tony Yobla IEC Blocono. Ella announcement momenti. Ala outcoming a Mari Isata. Mwembe ni mwya lonko wale kete la outcome ti. Ni victory la mwyata, ni defeat la fana mwyata. Bada fitno mbesi jamfa wana bankoka. Abaraka ba. Thank you. Hanim Birek, Mbari Njibe, Mbebe Njibe Kanyin Temenna. Nala niko His Excellency Adam Abbaro. In no time rek majela ko abefuta kanang jang anyin Temenna. Bari nalo niko ala force escort nying aman jamfa baka. Alye silence oja anyato la. Hada madi ngon minu bijambi asiyata baka la. Mnye moja la minyalo ko. Hanim Birek, Ibe dung kanang baye kono la. Ajan neng entrance te miyalo ko. Wale kata fo OMG la power station wa nyimbel dami. Ninebe Kering Jan Nintemena a Jara a Kono Jambi, a Walla Soma Kono Jambi Elara a Tundoka, a Lava Kabaki. Well, wonderful viewers out there, you are seeing the arrival of um, His Excellency Adam Abaro and uh, also um, His Excellency President Makisal, and uh, also seeing the uh, the arrival of His Excellency Umaru Sisoho Umbalu uh, right now here in uh, Soma. As you all can see, uh, the place is uh, too uh, congested, and uh, you can see um, His Excellency, uh, the President, uh, waving at people, and uh, his uh, and his counterpart, uh, His Excellency President Makisala, and uh, they're all in white, as you all can see. Mbari njibera, mbebe njibeka nyitabena, aliyako asaine, His Excellency. The President of the Republic of the Gambia, uh, His Excellency Adam Obaro, and in, uh, His Excellency President Makisalo, uh, he will take a Jamal Rahman or Beta Kebe wave, a Kayako, a Yera Konta Konta Anku, a Kosta Yeseondi, a Nyaya, a Imoflo Be, a Hastani Koyolebi, a Imoflo Be, a Mota Kane, a Ibe wave, Kanye Tambana. Uh, 
Madin Jibela Rek, Hanimbi, Alia Jele, His Excellency, Iduntanang, Alia Moljele, Blue Daka, Bawefta, Alia Fabiru, Alia Muskeva, Alia Muskeva, saw the enormity of destruction that the forest was witnessing in the Sahelian region, came up with the Banjo Declaration in 1977. Today, the Gambia is praised globally for its stand towards the protection of the environment, to protect lives, fauna and flora. In Sarada's words, I quote, It, but it would be tragic, he said, if this priceless natural heritage, the product of millions of years of evolution, should be further endangered or lost for one of proper concern. According to Sadawda, this concern is a duty we owe to ourselves to our great African heritage and to the world. Daudan Tairaba Jawla, 1934-2019. So these were the predecessors of President Sal. President Barrow, and of course, President Adam Barrow. They sat in Paula many, many years ago, and they decided to have a grand project that the way the environmental catastrophe that was confronting Africa needed to be arrested. And they came up with the OMPG idea, you know, was precise language organization for the development of the Gambia River Basin, precisely because both countries are sourced from the Fulda Jaron Highlands in Labe in Guinea this is why today, later on, Guinea-Bissau and Conakry will also join this grand project that is now benefiting some 28 million inhabitants across the Sub-Africa. We therefore welcome you to Yara Soma, we welcome you to LRR, and we welcome you to the Republic of the Gambia. President Sal on Yarawa, Min Bisnimi on Hande, and there is Soma, Min Bion Bismillah, and there LRR, President Baro Bisnima on, and there Lady Gambia. President Balo Ajarawa, Min Beltima, Pongar Torko, Min Farni, Min Belti, Min Bimbimi, Min Bima, and Tukotu, and the Ulabi Post, Min Jima, and Burni, Pastor Antonio, and Makisar, I had a President Baro, I forgot to call Qt, Una Nafarni, you know, in a Welgini, Salah Hiksa, Mijima in Bokawai, Jodu Gula, Tawanawa, and Nungu Korema, and the Kuveltari, Min Fumin, and Bimbi, Gambia, and Belti, President Balo, Min Beltima, Anko ada tu bahawa anda boleh gerakan ko super dida. Kalau super mahu ni boleh ni, min beli apa, min bisni mahu ni semua, min bisni mahu ni ni di gambar. Konjara apa? Mari mandi kor, kita min fon yang boleh min duko. Presiden baru boleh kontak min tak kelebi. Ko ni yang makin sal jibe, akamanya ala pakam ko. Ia ada mau baru jibe, na folu ko ida, mas kor pun begera. Ia nak ia nak masanya jibe. Isam mira ko ni mula mula ni mula. Mula ngaji nello, seni gambar. 
this is the Senegambian message. Just a little from Senegal and Gambia is going to be south. Mbalo is also the same. We are the same people. Mandinka, Yola, Fula, Sarawule, we are one and the same people. Today, what we are celebrating is the work of Senor and Jawara that they began from 40 years ago. Little did they know that today they are children or grandchildren which sit here and serve as heads of state and, of course, come up with this grandiose project. Well, uh, because of the, the the nature of the schedule and the time frame, we ask, uh, we invite uh, His Excellency. <laughs> yes, excuse me, please. Um, I would first ask the Gambia Police uh, Band to actually uh, uh, help us and then uh, sing us the national anthem of the African Union which is also an other success story of uh, these president's predecessors. That's what they wanted, that one day we have an African Union. Today we have an African Union anthem. So, police ban, uh, your excellency, President Barrow, uh, President Barrow, with your permission. <laughs> President Barrow, with your permission, we ask that you invite your guests so that we can actually sing the national anthem of the African Union uh, to be performed by the Gambia Police Bank. President Adam Obama, President Charles, President Obama. Let's continue this thing is yes. Police Bank. for a spectacular performance of the anthem of the African Union. Uh, may I please briefly just call the Imam just to recite uh, some... <laughs> uh, may I now uh, please call on uh, a member of the Christian community as tradition. Uh, I understand there is a reference sister in our midst. I invite her or anybody representing the Christian community to come and lead us in Christian prayers. Please. The Christian sister is about to join us in a minute to lead us in Christian prayers. From there, we will have the governor of uh, Lower River Region, Rohit John Manjal, to welcome the guests. And thereafter, President Matisal will take the podium before he leaves. Sister Tego Emmanuel is going to lead us in Christian prayers. Welcome, sister.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, we have gathered here today as a nation and people of goodwill from every facet of life to witness the inauguration and installation of the electricity power station in Jarasoma for the good way of all. Lord, it is not by our power, but by your own loving for humanity. God of infinite goodness and mercy, maker of heaven and earth, we pray for our leaders and heads of state, His Excellency, President Adam Abaru of Gambia, His Excellency, President Maxal of Senegal, His Excellency, President Umaru Sesiko Ibalo of Guinea-Bissau and their families, cabinets and ministers of heads of state of government parastatus, their nations and citizens, that God may continue to bless them and their intention as they have contributed greatly to ease the shortage of acute power supply for their people as part of their trajectory of development of their nations. Lord, we ask for your abundant blessings upon all of us present here today and grant us a successful ceremony. May your Holy Spirit guide and protect us in everything that we do here today. And may the installation of this power station be a blessing to all humanity. We also pray for our able governor of Lord River region, Her Excellency Rohit John, Her Deputy Mr. Dabo, religious, civil, traditional, and local leaders, other authorities and dignitaries, and armed forces, civil servants, the engineers, national and international donors, and all who contributed to make this project a success that God may bless them and reward them abundantly in their endeavors. We continue to pray for unity between and among nations and all heads of state in Africa, that God may continue to unite them together and grant them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to rule their people. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, sister. Um, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I now have the honor to call the current governor of our Lower River Region, Governor Rohi John Manjang, to welcome the guests. Governor I, I beg your pardon. Uh, because of the because we pressed with time, uh, we now ask. Uh, now calling our, our guests, our distinguished guests, His, His Excellency President Makisal uh, of the Republic uh, of Senegal to make a statement before he departs here. He has prior scheduled appointments and then after his speech, uh, he should be leaving us, but the program will continue as planned. I thank you and I ask you to welcome His Excellency President Sal as he takes the podium. Thank you so much. And um, please, journalists, I will ask that you maintain decorum and leave your cameras and all paraphernalia from here so that the president of the Republic of Senegal will have time to speak. If you have a microphone or a recording device, you can put it uh, across the, the wavelengths and I'm sure you will capture whatever President Sal uh, is going to say. I thank you and I welcome President Macky Sal of Senegal. <laughs> Uh, 
Merci beaucoup. Je reviens, je reviens. Excellence, Monsieur le Président de la République de Gambie, Président en exercice de l'Organisation pour la mise en valeur du fleuve Gambie, cher frère Adam Barrow. Excellence. Monsieur le Président de la République de Guinée-Bissau, chers frères Omaro Sissoko Mbalo, Madame la Vice-Présidente de la Gambie, Mesdames et Messieurs les Ministres, Monsieur le Haut Commissaire de l'OMVG, Excellences, Mesdames et Messieurs les Ambassadeurs, distingués participants, c'est toujours avec un plaisir renouvelé que nous nous retrouvons en terre gambienne. L'autre partie de notre grande famille sénégambienne. Une famille, une famille unie par l'histoire, la géographie et la parenté. Les mêmes liens que nous avons avec la République serbe de Guinée-Bissau et la République de Guinée. Je salue parmi nous notre frère, le président Omar Sissokombalo de la Guinée-Bissau. Président Baro, thank you for the warm hospitality. It is all time a pleasure for us to be here in Gambia, our second land. Cette cérémonie d'inauguration de la sous-station et du réseau de lignes de l'OMVG ici à Diarra montre une fois de plus combien nos destins sont liés en tant que voisin et riverain du fleuve Gambi et partenaire au sein de l'OMVG. Les bassins transfrontaliers sont souvent des sources de conflits. Tel n'est pas le cas entre nous, Gambiens, bissau guinéens Guinéens et Sénégalais, Grâce à la vision de nos anciens, nos pays ont en effet très tôt fait de ces bassins des traits d'union entre nos peuples, des facteurs de paix, de progrès et de prospérité partagés par une exploitation et une gestion concertée mais équitable des ressources hydriques. C'est ce qui nous vaut notre présence ici à Soma. Cette importante infrastructure et ces lignes de transport électrique permettront à nos populations d'accéder à une énergie propre, renouvelable et à un coût abordable. Elle contribuera ainsi à améliorer les conditions de vie des bénéficiaires, y compris dans le secteur de la santé, de l'éducation, de la sécurité et de l'environnement, en plus de créer de nombreuses opportunités économiques. Concrètement, 
grâce à ce pote de Diara Soma qui sera connecté à celui de Kaolak Extension, les capacités de fourniture d'électricité vont considérablement augmenter en Gambie avec la mise en service des ouvrages de Kaolak, Mirkilan et Tanaf au Sénégal, dont les travaux sont déjà achevés. C'est un acquis majeur pour le réseau interconnecté de l'OMVG. Et je voudrais adresser mes chaleureuses félicitations au président Adam Barrow, président en exercice de l'OMVG, pour la réalisation de cette importante infrastructure. Je félicite en même temps le haut commissaire, ses équipes et l'ensemble des acteurs engagés dans ce projet. Je remercie les partenaires techniques et financiers pour leur accompagnement. Je me réjouis en outre de la coopération efficace entre la Sénélec du Sénégal et la Navec de Gambie dans le domaine de la cession d'électricité à travers les points de connexion aux portes frontaliers de Keraïb et de Karan, mais aussi en matière de renforcement de capacité des ressources humaines de la Navec. Il est important de poursuivre et intensifier cette collaboration après la mise en service des postes de Dara Soma. Avec l'aménagement déjà effectif du barrage de Kaleta en Guinée et celui en cours de Sambangalou au Sénégal et la construction des postes et des lignes d'interconnexion électrique, l'OMVG continue de remplir sa vocation d'outils de développement et d'intégration au service des États membres. Gambie, Guinée-Bissau, République de Guinée et Sénégal allons de l'avant, ensemble, la main dans la main, tous interconnectés et éclairés. C'est cela notre ambition commune pour le progrès et le bien-être de nos populations. Anne Ndiarama, Anne Ndiarama Banderade, Mopi Djeredjev, Rodiga Adama Paro Djeredjev, Amna Mbekte, Nyeo Teifi Tidjara Soma, Tireo Gambi, Andefi Aksamon Natango Samarak, Président Omar Sizoko Mbalo, Bukine Bissau. L'Union Fakisi, Président Adam Obaro. Président de la République de Gambie. Wainek Betay, Président de l'OMVG. Lila Khamni, Mom, Moko Djite. Président Baro, Seligé Rafetna. L'OMVG, sur cette direction. Mouni de réalisation du Magamak, Lingbi, Lingbo Amam Salala, ou Lingbo interconnecté, Réli, Banga Hamne Kourambi, Mouni de Ré Sénégal, Nou Gambi, Dem Guinée-Bissau, Dem Guinée, Lolo, Ligay Moko et Dem Kon Djeredjev. Amgane Boudoulon, Lingbo Mekhar Wakoui, qui Burkina Faso, je suis très bien de me faire un peu de défait. Je suis très bien de me faire un peu de bus. Nous avons un événement qui est fait pour Jara Soma. Je suis très bien de me faire un festival du cinéma africain de Didier. Nous sommes tous les deux au Sénégal pour avoir fait un peu de prison. Je suis très bien de me faire un peu de bus. Je suis très bien de me faire un peu de bus. Avec le ministre Rivinec, le directeur général du Sénélec, nous avons eu l'inauguration de l'inauguration de Magbi, le chamé de notre courant qui a été en Yatou. Et pour le passé, il y a eu le Sénélec et le Nawek, le chamé de l'Amad, le Tollo, 
Grown for Kim Megawatt, fifty megawatt, Yohan, Canada, Senegal, Gambia, for the whole of my poor fifty of Gambia. Connect Jerejo, Kadubu Gatula, why Bu Ama Am Solo, Con Jerejo Prezambaro, Jerejo people of Gambia, Jerejo Moku Gambi, Manila, the South, the Len Gurum, Rosala. Thank you very much, uh, President Matissa, President of the Republic of Senegal, for your profound statement, very precise, very brief. Mr. Sal now takes leave for us. I was already told you he has prior engagements in Burkina uh, Faso. Celebration of African Cinema Festival. Uh, now leaves uh, for uh, Vice President Matui, Okay, we will we'll continue with our program as uh, President Sal takes leave uh, of us. Uh, just to recap, uh, we have two presidents invited to grace this occasion, the President of Senegal, His Excellency President Sal, and the President of the Sister Republic of Guinea-Bissau, uh, President Omaru Sisoko Mbalo, who is President Adam Barro, person of the conference of our uh, head of state for the organization the development of the Gambia River Basin, the OMVG. Earlier on, I had actually profiled uh, each of the guests. Uh, Adam Obaro also, uh, we needed to remind ourselves, certainly many people are familiar with his history, but the occasion re requires that when we have them gathered, uh, given the pomp and circumstance, we also celebrate our own head of state. Uh, President Adam Obaro was born in Mankamankunda on February 16, 1965. Earlier on, President Baro, I had described you and Malo and Sal using the words of the Oriental poet and British writer Salman Rushdie that you are midnight children. Midnight children in Rushdie's philosophy are those who were born the nights before independence or shortly after independence. Uh, of course, February 16, 1965, precedes Gambia's independence only by two days. So Adam Barro was born on that beautiful Friday, 1965. Little did his parents or himself know that one day he's going to preside over the destiny of this beautiful, this great Gambia. Uh, Adam Barro, uh, began his primary education in Basse and proceeded to, what, uh, to attend what was then the Kravailan Senior Junior Secondary Technical School. Uh, thereafter, he transitioned to the Gambia Muslim High School and then went out, uh, he traveled and crisscrossed Europe. He returned to Gambia and ventured into business. He established his Majum Estates Agency that became a business wonderland. It was from Majum Real Estate that Adam Barrow an unknown political quantity, we would say in political theory, emerged and became president of the Republic of the Gambia in a grand coalition. Uh, we celebrate President Barrow. Uh, his political career began when he won the December 16th presidential election and became the third president of the Republic of the Gambia. And currently, he's leader and secretary general of the National People's Party, NPP. 
uh, with his stallion grand boss. I have the vice president uh, who is immaculately dressed in her grand bubu, almost the color of President Barrow's party. Uh, very significant correlation there. Uh, president Barrow is uh, currently chair, chairperson of the Conference of Heads of State of the OMVG and uh, is married to Fatou Mataba Barrow and Lady Sajon Barrow Barrow. They are blessed with beautiful children. On this sunny afternoon in Jara Summer, President Barrow, I say assalamu alaikum to you, your guests, your cabinet ministers, our distinguished chief justice, the Honorable Hassan Bubakar Jalo, members of the National Assembly, uh, governors, local dignitaries, Sefolu, Al Kalolu, uh, village elders, local dignitaries, and even we also have from our midst people from Kasamas, from Bunkiling in Senegal, from other Senegalese cantons who have come here to grace this occasion with President Sal Barrow and Malo. Um, so we now call on the governor of uh, Lower River Region, uh, Governor Rohi John Manjang, to welcome the guests to her place. And then, uh, what is it? And, and I will proceed from there. Yes. Yeah. So Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Alhamdulillahi rabbin alameen. I am grateful to Allah for giving me this unique opportunity to stand here today for the grace of this very important historic event, the launching of the OMBG Energy Project in the region of Lower River Region, Mansa Fonko LRR, um, Jara Soma. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adam Abaro. Your Excellency, the President of Guinea, Umaru Sisoho Malo. In absence here, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Senegal. Her Excellency, our Vice President, Dr. Aisatu Toure the cabinet ministers and all other senior officials of the Republic of the Gambia here present, cabinet ministers and senior officials of the Republic of Guinea, cabinet ministers and senior officials of the Republic of Senegal, the chairman of the OMBG Energy Project, the Chief Justice of the Republic of the Gambia, my counterpart governors of the Gambia, and that of Sergio here present, all other senior officials of these three countries here present, the security, religious leaders, the media, and all other invited guests who are present here from the Gambia, Senegal, and Guinea. With great honor and delight, I welcome you to Sjara Soma, raising this magnificent project that is here to provide us a sustainable energy means for the first time in the history of the Gambia. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, I thank Allah for giving me this opportunity to be part of the Barrow government celebrating such a magnificent legacy in the history of mankind. Once and the first time, we are here to provide these three countries, the Gambia, of course, included and champion a sustainable means of energy supply, not only energy supply, 
clean energy, quality energy, affordable energy, and reliable energy supply. I cannot do justice to myself if I cannot share this experience with your excellency. For the first time in my history as a Gambian, or an official working for Lower River Region, I've spent the entire three days, 74 hours plus of a sustainable energy, steady energy supply, quality energy supply without any interruption. I think this is um, easy to assure the entire Gambian population and the three countries that finally we are here to provide a solution to our socio-economic development strategies. Without energy supply, we can all acknowledge that we cannot have a sustainable quality supply and affordable healthcare system, education system. This modern agriculture cannot go in the absence of quality energy supply. And of course, the Gambia has ever been only consuming when it's come to the market. But finally, we can assure that we are now ready to also join the production market because now we can entice, we can, we can motivate investors to settle in the Gambia. Hence, the Gambia has been known to be a very strategic location in terms of connecting the markets of the world. The sun is very hot and I know we are a little bit um, delayed with time. That being the case, Your Excellency, I want to assure the entire Gambia that for the first time, we are fortunate to have a leadership under the, under the borough government who is ready to provide sustainable development strategies for the entire Gambia. Before I do say, we were employing the strategy of patching and fixing just like the old tire of an old car. You buy old engines, when they break, you come and patch them, fix them here and there, and you move. But finally, finally, the borough government is now diversing their thinking by providing a sustainable means in terms of their strategy for the national development plans. Your Excellency, we are proud of you. We are assuring the electorates that we have a reason to allow His Excellency to continue for the next five years. And the reason is justifiable. He has started a work that has convinced us that what we have achieved in these past five years, we are going to get, if not 10 times, five times more of that development. This is a project that would leave the test the next 100 years. And for that being the case, I applaud your excellency that your cabinet ministers on behind of the vice president are all ready to join hands with you to continue for the next five years to give the Gambia what they deserve as better human beings of this universe. That being the case, I welcome everyone to this important magnificent event and I ask for your patience to witness the rest of the event because this is a one time in our history and a history making event that being the case let's give it our best and our patience to enjoy whatever is coming for the rest of the day thank you so very much thank you thank you governor uh, rohi john Manjad. Uh, we now proceed and the next speaker is going to be uh, a representative of the african development bank uh olugbade marie Lori. Is going to make a statement on behalf of the African Development Bank. Madam, we welcome you to the podium. Thank you. Uh, meanwhile, I wish to recognize the, the presence of the Secretary General at the Office of the President, uh, Honorable Nuha Toure, the Deputy Secretary General, Salima Toure. The Cabinet Secretary, Mr. Ibrahim Sisi. Once again, I was told to also announce the presence of uh, the Chief Justice. Actually, I did many times. So we are pleased to have in our midst a distinguished Gambian 
a man of many titles and names, an Islamic scholar, a jurist, a great Gambian statesman, Honorable Hassan Ubakar Jaro. Ajarama, Bismillah Nairman Sokongo, Chief Justice. I now have the World Bank representative. Your Excellency, President Adama Barrow, President of the Gambia and Chairman of the ONVG Authority of Heads of State and Government. In absentia, Your Excellency, President Macky Sall, President of Senegal. Your Excellency, President Umaro Sissoko Mbalo, President of Guinea-Bissau. Your Excellency, Dr. Isatou Touré, Vice President of the Gambia. Cabinet ministers and members of parliament, honorable members of the ONG councils of ministers, the governor of the lower region, river region of Gambia, your excellencies, members of the diplomatic corps, commissioner of ONDG, representative general of the West African Power Pool, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observes. Your Excellencies, on behalf of the President of the African Development Bank Group, Dr. Akiwumi Adeshina, I would like to express our tremendous gratitude for inviting the bank to participate in this commissioning ceremony of the regional OMVG energy project at the Soma substation. Dr. Adeshina extends his congratulations to His Excellency, President Adama Barrow, on his appointment as chairman of the OMGG Heads of State and wishes him success during his tenure. Your presence today attests not only to the historic nature of this event, but also to the solidarity and fraternity between all OMGG's countries. I am especially privileged to take the floor here as the chef de file of the development partners to address here on their behalf. And I would like to mention, and if they are present, I would like to ask them to stand up, the development, the French Development Agency, the European Investment Bank, the Islamic Development Bank, West African Development Bank, World Bank, Coed Fund for Arab Economic Development, and the African Development Bank. We would like first to mention the excellent cooperation between the financial and technical in general for not only their mobilization of resources for transformational regional integration across the continent, but more especially for the project. Please kindly allow me also to express our deepest gratitude to the OMVG member countries and the OMDG Council of Ministers for the excellent and efficient collaboration with all these partners. This dynamic partnership is reflected today in the Commission important project. It is expected to greatly benefit the people of four countries, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, and Senegal, for decades after the OMDG was formed. Today's event is sufficient evidence of the tireless effort of President Adama Barrow to transform the Gambia energy sector while simultaneously strengthening regional integration and trade, including electricity. We commend your commitment, sir, Mr. President, to the development of the energy sector, and we note sir, the adoption of the National Electricity Sector Roadmap, embodying the vision of modernization of the energy sector in Gambia. We note the effective to restore the Gambian NAWEC power generation capacity, including renewable energy projects. We also note the improvement of access to electricity, including mini grids. It is therefore worth to mention that the implementation of the electricity access component from the Soma and Rikama substation are ongoing and will be completed in the coming months. 
Today we are witnessing the inauguration of this interconnection project and it presents really a major milestone and a fulfillment of the bank's role in promoting regional integration through the development of major flagship infrastructure. This project strongly reinforces the cooperation and integration in these four countries in particular and ECOWAS community as a whole. And I would like to remind uh, all of us that on 31st of January 2009, we were only a few kilometers away when President Macky Sall and President Adama Barrow inaugurated the Senegambia Bridge. And it was a pleasure for us to drive this morning on this bridge. And I would like to express how proud the African Development Bank is to have provided both the financial and technical support for the Senegambia Bridge. And we'd like to mention that this project is key in the West Africa Power Pool, and it is aligned with the ECOWAS Master Plan for Power Generation. For us, it will really contribute to the expansion of the power pool, the creation of a true regional electricity market, which is expected to lead to a decrease of the electricity cost to households and businesses. And we would like to mention that nine of the, the, the 14 interland countries in ECOWAS are already connected. And the OMVG project today is one of the two missing links, and that will ultimately ensure interconnection of the 14 countries. And for us today, Gambia is going to be connected, and in a few months, we will be operating the same ceremony in Guinea Bissau. For all these reasons, the technical partners have 722 million dollars for the completion of the OMVG projects. And we remain convinced that with the state, the overall transmission interconnection network will be available and operational by mid-2020. And here it is fitting to the OMVG High Commissioner for the work already accomplished, excellent work. And we hope that the Sambagalu hydroelectric plant will also be realized on schedule. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Madam uh, Roy, uh, representative of the African Development Bank. Uh, before I call the next speaker, Anumara, Anumara, Onjarama, Onjarama, my dear brother, President Baro, and our brother, President Makisal, the President of Transition also of Guinea Conakry, the part of OMBG. My very dear friend, thank you very much for your warm welcome. I am very pleased to be here today and take part to this very important event, which illustrates the very special between the Gambia, Senegal, Guinea-Bissau, and Guinea-Conakry. We are the same people. We have to join this effort and work together for the development and the prosperity of our people, the inauguration of this important energy project is a step 
in that direction, we shall continue to work, my brother. And uh, sisters, to build peace, stability, and the progress for all. Thank you very much. And on Jarama Musibegami. On Jarama Bui. On Jarama. We're going to set a post convoy for a long time. Uh, if the police don't are around, I would ask them to continue with their signature tunes uh, as President Mbalo is poised to leave. Uh, they're putting his convoy together. The police band, if you are here, you can call on the police band to play with their slow music. Otherwise, uh, we can just continue to have light entertainment until move on to the next stage of the program. President Barlow has spoken in very eloquent terms. Probably the supremest, the shortest speech in history I have ever, ever witnessed. Ajarama, Bismillah, Min Chalmini, Om Min Chalmini, Gilipisaw, Naven, Yopla, Ejam, Ajarama. This, this woman left this. What was it about? Okay. Ah, okay, yeah. This is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. President Barlow is being entertained by a cross-section of a uh, musical uh, team uh, the acrobatic uh, dancer uh, is at her best as President Barlow exchanges greetings, farewell greetings to the Vice President Kure, uh, the Chief of Protocol is working with the President's Alberto Kid. Actually, take uh, President Barlow. He's, uh, it is important to note uh, that this uh, project combined uh, cost some $722 million. Uh, that is for all the interconnection, interconnecting projects, Guinea Conakry, Guinea Bissau, Senegal, and the Gambia. The total amount of money involved is in the tune of $722 million. Okay. Your Excellency, Maki Sal, the President of Senegal, your Excellency Amara Sito Mbalo, the President of Guinea Bissau, Your Excellency, Honorable Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, I would like to take this momentous occasion to thank the Government of Gambia for their warm and kind invitations to wake one to participate in this joyful celebration. It is also a great honor for me to be with you today, representing the Kuwaiti Fund in this happy event on the occasion of the completion of the OMBG Electrical Interconnection Project, the Gambian section. Ladies and gentlemen, the importance of this project, which aim to modernize and strengthen the network reliability efficiency, security, of supply, and enhanced power trade that will contribute to meeting the electricity demand, which is an essential important of life and essential pilot of economic and social development, in addition to being strategic health priority for the Gambian government investment plan in energy sector generate to power the Gambian economy. We at Kuwait Fund are honored to have been part of this partnership with the government of Gambia in implementing this project in spite of all the technical and administrative challenge associated with, the, with its delay, both about lockdown as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. This great challenge 
were faced by the government of the Gambian with determination, with their vision that the project would go on to, the, to its completion with the highest engineering specifications. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, the Kuwait Fund is honored to continue its close relationship with the government of Gambia so that together we can complete the project and its expansion so it can deliver its full potential in achieving all of its objectives. Ladies and gentlemen, a word of thanks and appreciation for the to the consultants and to the contractor who, without their high professional professionalism and det detection to the implementation of this project, despite all the challenge, would not be would have been possible for this for this away. Distinguished guests, on the happy occasion, I would like to take this opportunity to pay a tribute to the valuable cooperation and cooperation between the government and the Ministry of Finance and Economy Affairs, which has resulted in successes in the completion of projects funded by the Kuwait Fund in a different sector, which aims to provide services in various development sectors that will contribute to social and economic development of the Republic of the Gambia. And I would like to assure you that all today of our keenness and determination of the Kuwait Fund to continue as your faithful partnership. Thank you for your listening. Shukran. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Walid. Um, the Kuwaiti Fund actually uh, contributed um, uh, some several million dollars uh, for the for the building of the Bikama and the and the, and the summer uh, substations. Um, earlier on, I was just saying that uh, some 8.4 million US US dollars, uh, excuse me, uh, Kuwaiti dinars, so 28 million US dollars is what built the summer uh, Bikama uh, fund. So it is the Kuwaiti donor fund for the two substations that actually that, that is uh, the Kuwaiti fund that built the, the, the line, however, uh, that connects the Kama and so on, will also cost some 40 million US dollars, and that is funded by the World Bank. Also, the Gambia government, cognition of the devastating effect of the project on the life and livelihoods of the locals here has also contributed significantly as a compensation package, the people of Karantaba here were given 2.5 million dollars, and then there is another 17.5 million that was also given to the locals in the Jara area who were affected by the erection and the building of this massive infrastructural project. Uh, now we're going to have a statement by the High Commissioner, excuse me, by the by the representative of the of the World Bank. We had the query for now. By who? The World Bank. Who is it? Who Madam. Okay. Madam Boris is the representative of the World Bank. I, I beg your pardon for that uh, stumbling. Uh, I have so many things uh, to put up together. So I, I now call, I have the honor and privilege to call Madam Boris uh, of the World Bank to come and deliver a statement. Madam, welcome. Good afternoon. Aminara, Your Excellency, President Barrow, the President of the Gambia. We're very pleased to be here today and also recognize the President and the presence of His Excellency Makisal of Senegal and His Excellency Mbalo of Guinea Bissau who have departed. And we thank you for their presence. We also want to recognize her Excellency, the Vice President, who is here with us today, and of course, the Honorable Cabinet Ministers who are in attendance, 
along with the parliamentarians, the governor, Madam Governor of LRR, the High Commissioner of the OMVG, the Managing Director of NAWEC, and also the Managing Director of Senelec, who is here with us today. Also would like to recognize service chiefs in, in, in attendance, the religious and traditional leaders also in attendance, honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols fully observed. It is my pleasure as the resident representative of the World Bank to join you today to mark this important milestone in the life of the OMVG Interconnection Project. Today is indeed a historic moment for the energy sector in the Gambia. This marks the first phase of the OMVG Interconnection Project being delivered, a project that has been envisioned for decades finally becoming a reality today. In this first phase, the Gambia now has a high voltage interconnection uh, with its neighbor Senegal, which will allow significant scale up in the electricity trade between both countries. In the second phase, which we anticipate to, to proceed this, the interconnection will be extended to Guinea-Bissau and also Guinea, and the West African power pool more broadly. The power purchase agreement already signed could supply up to 50% of the current energy demand and with the possibility to scale up further. So this is indeed historic. Now, there are three reasons why this represents a potentially transformational impact on the Gambia's energy sector. First of all, this project is going to lead to the reduction of the cost and also improving the security of electricity in the Gambia. The Gambia has historically relied on generating electricity from heavy fuel oil, which as we know is an expensive and dirty form of electricity. Many of NAWEC's generating engines are old and in poor condition, breaking down regularly, unfortunately, as we have all witnessed, and causing outages in supply, which represents a major obstacle for doing business and disrupting our daily lives. So through the West African Power Pool, the Gambia will finally have the opportunity to import large volumes of lower cost electricity and cleaner electricity, for example, hydroelectricity from Guinea or gas to power from Senegal and Côte d'Ivoire. This will help the Gambia achieve its targets to reduce the cost of supply, improve the stability of supply, and reach its Paris Agreement goals to reduce carbon emissions. Secondly, there's going to be a significant increase in access to electricity, as I already mentioned. Your Excellency President Barrow has set the ambitious objective of achieving universal access to electricity by 2025 five years ahead of the SDG target. This will be made, yes, this is really something to cloud for, I believe. And we do believe it's possible. We at the World Bank believe it's possible. So it's not, it's not just a dream. We'll be here to witness it. This will be made possible in part through this OMVJ interconnection and the World Bank Finance ECOWAS Regional Access Project which will finance the medium voltage and low voltage interconnection from the OMVJ substantial here in Soma and in also in Ibukama. Through this project, which is already under implementation, 300 villages will be connected to electricity. This is indeed a turnaround for the Gambia. Finally, the interconnection will provide new opportunities for the Gambia to develop renewable energy sources. The energy sector roadmap financed by the World Bank 
identifies solar energy as a major opportunity for the Gambia to reduce the cost of energy and clean the energy mix. I think that would be a relief to all of us standing on under the sun to know that we can actually use this to reduce the cost of electricity and also develop cleaner electricity. The OMVJ interconnection offers the Gambia to leverage these opportunities. One good example of this is a 150 megawatt regional solar plant that is expected to connect, connect to the Soma substation. The World Bank is currently financing the feasibility study for this project, which could significantly scale up the, the Gambia's renewable energy and potentially provide an opportunity to export to neighboring countries. So these are all significant and historic milestones for the Gambia. The World Bank is therefore proud to be the largest financier of the OMBJ connection as a key part of our broader portfolio of support to the Gambia's energy sector. Indeed, the regional interconnection is highly complementary to our national projects, including the Gambia Electricity Restoration and Modernization Project, which, among other things, will finance major upgrades to the transmission and distribution network in the greater Banjo area, enabling the network to absorb the power that will be delivered by the OMBJ interconnection. The lower cost and larger volumes of supply that will be delivered through this OMBJ interconnection are also a key part of the vision to transform Nawek into a modern and efficient utility company, providing quality service to its customers. The OMBJ interconnection is indeed a major achievement in regional cooperation, which has been decades in the making. We congratulate the OMBJ and its member states, including the Gambia, on this important milestone. However, I want you to know that just as this project was complex to construct, the operational phase will be even more challenging. More work is still needed to put in place the formal agreement needed to supply and transmit the electricity and to have a permanent operator in place to operate the line. In closing, therefore, we take this opportunity to encourage the OMBJ and its member states to redouble their efforts to implement these important steps necessary to realize the three transformational impacts that I have outlined. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you once again for this opportunity to address you and congratulate His Excellency President Barrow, the OMBJ High Commissioner, and all stakeholders on this historic milestone. Jerry Thank you, Madam Governors of the World Bank. Now we have a statement by the High Commissioner of the OMPG, Al Hadi Lansana Fofana. Uh, Mr. Fofana, you're welcome to the podium. Excellence, Monsieur Adama Barrow, Président de la République de Gambie, Président de la Conférence des chefs d'État et de gouvernement de l'OMVG. Excellence, Monsieur Oumaru Sissoko Ambalo, Président de la République de Guinée-Bissau. Excellence, Monsieur Magissal, Président de la République du Sénégal. Excellence, Madame Aïssatou Touré, Vice-présidente de la République de Gambie. 
Mesdames et Messieurs les représentants des institutions républicaines de Gambie, Mesdames et Messieurs les représentants du corps diplomatique et consulaire accrédité en Gambie, Monsieur Orlando Mendes Vega, ministre des Ressources naturelles de la Guinée-Bissau, président en exercice du Conseil des ministres de l'OMVG. Madame la gouverneure de l'Oariva Région. Madame les partenaires au développement cofinanceur du projet énergie de l'OMVG. Mesdames et Messieurs, à vos rangs et grades respectifs, laborieuse population de Soma, c'est pour moi un honneur, un privilège et un agréable plaisir de m'adresser à nos élites hôtes à l'occasion de la cérémonie inaugurale du poste électrique haute tension, moyenne tension de Kalantamba, Soma, ouvrage du réseau d'interconnexion du projet énergie de l'organisation pour la mise en valeur du fleuve Gambie. Ce poste qui sera inauguré aujourd'hui fait partie des ouvrages communs du réseau d'interconnexion électrique de l'OMDG, qui est une des composantes du projet énergie de l'OMDG, qui comprend aussi l'aménagement hydroélectrique de Samba -Gambi. Ce projet est un jalon majeur dans la coopération et l'intégration des pays membres de l'OMDG. Excellences, Messieurs les chefs d'État, Madame la vice-présidente, Monsieur le président du Conseil des ministres, permettez-moi de rappeler à juste titre que la cérémonie qui nous réunit ici ce 23 octobre 2021 n'est que l'aboutissement de la vision très pertinente des pères fondateurs de l'OMVG, les feux présidents d'Aouda Kairaba Jawara de la Gambie, Léopold Sédar Senghor du Sénégal, Ahmed Sepitouré de la Guinée, Joao Bernardo Nino Veira de la Guinée-Bissau, pour lesquels je demande respectueusement à votre Excellence d'observer une minute de silence à leur mémoire. Elle est aussi et surtout la concrétisation des sages décisions et orientations de l'historique session extraordinaire de la conférence des chefs d'État et de gouvernement de l'OMDG tenue le 29 janvier 2016 à Addis Abeba, Éthiopie, qui a procédé à la profonde restructuration de l'OMDG par la mise en place d'une nouvelle équipe du haut commissariat. Je saisis l'opportunité qui m'est offerte pour exprimer ma profonde gratitude à leur excellence Adam Ambaro, président de la République de Gambie, président de l'exercice de la conférence des chefs d'État de l'OMG, Oumaru Ambalo Sissoko, président de la Guinée-Bissau, Mamali Doumbouya, colonel Mamali Doumbouya, président de la République de Guinée, et Macky Sall, président de la République du Sénégal, pour le soir porté sur ma modeste personne pour diriger le haut commissariat de notre organisation. Excellences, Monsieur le chef d'État, Madame la vice-présidente, Monsieur le président du Conseil des ministres, Madame et Monsieur les ministres, je m'en voudrais du haut de cette tribune si je n'exprime pas à l'endroit de mes prédécesseurs, Feu Malik Gang, Feu Justino Vera et M. Elaz Mamadina Diallo, respectivement, co commissaire et secrétaire exécutif de l'OMVG de 1978 à 2016, pour les immenses sacrifices qu'ils ont consentis pour le rayonnement de l'OMVG. Je saisis aussi cette occasion pour remercier leur Excellence, les chefs d'État et de gouvernement de l'OMVG pour leur soutien précieux et constant qu'ils nous accordent dans la mise en œuvre de la, de la mise en valeur des ressources des passeurs fluviaux de Gambie, de Kayenda Jeba, de Koriba Kourbal, au bénéfice de la laborieuse population des quatre pays membres de l'OMVG. 
grâce aux sages conseils, les orientations des chefs d'État et de gouvernement de l'OMDG et l'accompagnement du Conseil des ministres. Le Haut Commissariat de l'OMDG a fondamentalement changé de stratégie et s'est inscrit dans une nouvelle dynamique du temps de l'action. Ce projet énergie de l'OMDG est l'un des six projets prioritaires d'intégration sous-régionale au niveau du partenariat pour le développement de l'Afrique, nouveau partenariat pour le développement de l'Afrique, NEPAD, et du système d'échange d'énergie électrique ouest-africain, le WAP. Il est composé d'un réseau d'interconnexion de 1677 km de lignes de transport, haute tension 225 kV, de 15 postes, haute tension, moyenne tension, et de deux centres de dispatching à l'Insan et à Tamba, en Guinée et à Tambacounda, au Sénégal. D'une capacité de transit de 800 MW, en, en, en vous disposant de 36 paires de fibres optiques pour le développement des télécommunications. Il permettra de relier les réseaux électriques des quatre pays membres de l'OMDG, ceux de l'OMBS et la liaison tambacounda polda jigensor au Sénégal à partir du poste d'interconnexion de Tambacounda et celui de Transco, CLLG, Côte d'Ivoire, Libéria, Sierra Leone, Guinée, et l'interconnexion Guinée-Mali à partir du poste de l'INSAN. Son coût est de 722 millions de dollars. Ce projet énergie est associé aux aménagements hydroélectriques de Caleta 240 MW, et 1152 gigawatts et de soit petit 450 MW et 2016 gigawatts soit un total de 690 MW et 3178 gigawatts déjà réalisé par la République de Guinée et pour lesquels ce pays a décidé de mettre à disposition des trois autres pays membres de MVG un productible annuel de 1172 gigawatts je tiens à remercier très sincèrement les hautes autorités de la République de Guinée pour cet important effort allant dans le sens de renforcement de la coopération et de l'intégration sous-régionale au sein de l'OMDG. Le poste de Soma, qui sera inauguré aujourd'hui, est un poste 2 x 15 20 MBA, financé par le Fonds cohésien pour le développement économique arabe et les pays membres de l'OMDG. Il est alimenté dans un premier temps depuis le 14 octobre 2021 à partir du poste de Kaolak, Sénégal et la ligne 225 kV kaolak Brikelan et Brikelan soma À partir de ce poste, les postes de Brikama en Gambie et de Tanaf au Sénégal seront alimentés à travers respectivement les lignes soma Brikama et soma Tanaf. L'achèvement complet de la boucle d'interconnexion prévue en juin 2022 permettra de disposer de l'énergie électrique en provenance de soit petit à l'état. Le taux d'avancement global actuel des travaux de la ligne est de 85%. Le lancement, le financement de l'interconnexion a été obtenu auprès de huit bailleurs de fonds que sont l'AFD, la... la BAD, la KFW, la BEI, la BID, la, la BOAD, le Fonds cohésien pour le développement économique et arabe, que je remercie très sincèrement, et des États membres de l'OMDG. À côté de ce projet énergie structurant, nous, a, nous avons également conduit pour les, le compte des États membres un projet régional d'électrification autour des 15 postes de l'OMDG. L'électrification rurale autour des 15 postes de l'OMDG. La Banque mondiale 
a déjà approuvé un financement de 66 millions de dollars pour la Gambie et 60 millions de dollars pour la Guinée-Bissau dans une première phase. Le Sénégal et la Guinée bénéficieront des prochaines phases et une étude de rectification des localités de long de la ligne d'interconnexion financée par la Banque africaine de développement est en cours d'exécution. Enfin, au titre de notre programme énergie et grâce au précieux et constant appui de la Banque mondiale, la Banque africaine de développement, l'OMVG est en train de réaliser des études de pré-investissement des sites de seconde génération de Digan sur le fleuve Gambie en Guinée, 93 MW de Korawel sur le, la combat affluent du fleuve Polybac Global en Guinée, 134 MW, et de Saltignon sur le fleuve Polybac Global en Guinée-Bissau, 27 MW. Tous ces, tous ces réseaux seront raccordés à la ligne d'interconnexion de l'OMVG. Excellence, Monsieur le chef d'État, c'est également le lieu de porter à votre côte Attention que malgré la pandémie du COVID-19, qui est un cas de force majeure irréfutable et avec toutes les contraintes qu'elle a occasionnées dans les activités de l'humanité, l'OMVG, ses conseils ainsi que tous nos constructeurs et partenaires techniques et financiers sont restés tous mobilisés et engagés à relever le défi de l'achèvement des travaux de l'interconnexion et de démarrer rapidement les travaux de l'aménagement hydroélectrique de Sambaga. En votre nom, je les adresse mes sincères remerciements. Excellence, Monsieur le Président, au vu de tout ce qui précède, vous conviendrez avec moi que ce projet énergie, euh, produit de votre volonté politique fermement exprimée, est un véritable outil d'intégration de lutte contre la pauvreté, l'exode rural et l'immigration clandestine par le biais de la fourniture en quantité et qualité suffisante d'énergie propre au niveau des localités, ainsi que le développement des PME, la création des, des milliers d'emplois dans l'espace OMVG. Il est opportun de noter à ce titre, excellent Monsieur le Président Adama Barrault, lors de la dernière audience que votre Excellence a accordée à la mission du président du Conseil des ministres, vous, nous avez, vous avez déclaré ceci, citation. La, le projet énergie de l'OMVG est une preuve que quand les Africains décident de se mettre ensemble, ils peuvent sortir rapidement de la pauvreté et du sous-développement du continent. Je ne pourrais terminer mon discours sans adresser mes vifs remerciements à notre ministre de tutelle en Gambie et au coordinateur de la cellule nationale, ainsi que laborieuse population de Soma pour la forte mobilisation et l'accueil chaleureux qu'elles ont réservé à nos illustres fortes. Je tiens à leur exprimer toute ma reconnaissance. Vive l'OMVG Vive l'intégration sous-régionale, vive la coopération. Thank you for your attention. Obrigado. Merci pour votre attention. Merci. Allez. Allez. OMVG, Malagi, Lansana, Bokana. Evidently, the people uh, are yearning for some light uh, entertainment. Uh, I would ask that you just uh, be a little bit patient. When we have uh, the chairman of the OMVG Council of Ministers, Orlando Mendes Vegas, uh, after his speech, we will have uh, light uh, entertainment in this order. First, we will have performances by Nyako Manjang of Jara, 
Then we're going to have sauna coli. We're going to have matiyai. We'll have jali bure, and then jali ba kuyate. That is after the statement to be delivered by the chairperson of the OMBG Council of Ministers, Orlando Mendes Vergas. Thank you, Your Excellency. You welcome to the podium. Yes, the problem. Where President, the kind of Good afternoon, everybody. Sua Excelência, Dama Barro, Presidente da República de Gambia, Presidente do Exercício da Conferência de Estado. Your Excellency, Your Excellency, Adama Barro, President of the Republic of the Gambia, Chairman of the ONVG Conference of the Head of State and Government. Your Excellency, President Makisal of the Senegal. Your Excellency, General Umar Sissoko Mbalo, President of the Republic of Guinea Bissau. Your Excellency, Senor Aissa Touture, Vice President of the Republic of Gambia. Your Excellency, Madam Aissa Touture, the Vice President of the Republic of Gambia. Senor Minister of Petroleum and Energy of Senegal. Honorable Minister of Petroleum and Energy of Senegal. Senor Minister, Member of the Council of Ministers of the OMG. Honorable Cabinet Minister of the Republic of Gambia and Honorable Minister of the OMVG Council of Ministers. Senoras and Senores Ministers, Members of the Government of Gambia. Senoras and Senores Representantes do Corpo Diplomatico and Consulados Accreditados in Gambia. Senora Coordinadora, Governadora, Senor Representante da Comunidade dos Estados da África Ocidental, CDAO, Senhor Alto Comissariado do OMVG, Senhor Presidente da Autoridade Regional de Regulação de Eletricidade do CDAO, AREG, Senhor Secretário-Geral do OMVG, em representação do Senhor Alto Comissariado do OMVG, ou MVS, Senhora Diretor-Geral do Biro Regional de Desenvolvimento, e prestação de serviços para a África do Oeste, em representação do presidente do Grupo Banco Africano para o Desenvolvimento, senhor diretor regional do AP, senhor diretor de operações de representação, em representação do diretor-geral do Fundo Coitiano para o Desenvolvimento, senhoras e senhores representantes de parceiros técnicos e financeiros do projeto de energia, senhor secretário-geral do OMVG, Senhores diretores gerais, minhas senhoras e meus senhores, gostaria antes de mais, em meu nome pessoal e em nome de todos que convidados que honraram com a sua presença nesta cerimônia, para testemunhar a minha gratidão às autoridades da República de Gávea por toda a atenção dispensada pelas disposições tomadas para fazer com que esta nossa história na terra gambiana do EVZ seja agradável. Gostaria igualmente de endereçar os meus profundos agradecimentos e a minha gratidão à Sua Excelência Senhora Dama Boaró, Presidente da República de Gâmbia, Presidente em exercício e Chefe de Estado e de Governo da, da República de Gâmbia. A ocasião que, oferece, que nos oferece é feliz e bela. Ela resulta da visão da vontade e do compromisso do trabalho árduo de dezenas e dezenas de pessoas às quais gostaria, em meu nome e em nome do Conselho de Ministro do IVG, endereçar as minhas vivas felicitações e os meus sinceros agradecimentos. Esta obra posto de Carantabá, Carantabá Soma, faz parte do projeto de interconexão do IVG, que conta com 1.700 km de linha HT, 225 kW, 
equivalente com 36 pares de fibra ótica para telecomunicações. O projeto de interconexão, interconexão na sua totalidade necessita de mobilização de 722 milhões de dólares, resultados que foram alcançados devido ao envolvimento de nossos parceiros técnicos e financeiros. O ato comercial, comissário, assegura a pilotagem e coordenação deste e supervisão deste importante complexo projeto, todos merecem os nossos agradecimentos. Sua Excelência, Senhor Presidente da República, Senhora Vice-Presidente, Senhores Ministros, Ilustres Candidatos, Senhoras e Senhores, a oportunidade que nós oferecida permite-nos estar orgulhoso que a nossa organização realizou em pouco tempo, graças à dimissão, à dinâmica da equipa colocada à frente, depois da reforma histórica inspirada pela Conferência de Chefe de Estado e do Governo, de 29 de janeiro de 1916. A OMG leva ao cabo o sucesso na realização das suas missões que lhe foram conferidas, forçando assim a integração do nosso país e a confiança dos nossos parceiros técnicos e financeiros. O projeto de energia permite hoje que as empresas nacionais da necessidade procedam trocas por compra e por venda da eletricidade produzida nos Estados-membros. A energia distribuída a partir deste posto Carantabá, Somá, vende as instalações de Senalec do Senegal, via posto Paular e a sua extensão pela OMVG. Devemos cuidar de bem, bem da OMVG, este belo instrumento da cooperação e da integração que muitas outras visões gostariam de ter. Consequentemente, convém prestar uma vibrante homenagem aos nossos antecessores, aos pais fundadores por este instrumento de cooperação subregional que permite aos nossos estados de cooperar, de realizar e de agir em comuns infraestruturas vitais. <música> Quando eu me lembro, eu me lembro de ter o coronavírus.